Muslims fast during Ramadan, and then they offer prayers on Eid day and celebrate. But not in China, and definitely not Muslims in Eastern Turkestan, which the Chinese call Xinjiang or New Colony. Uyghur and other Turkic Muslims are not allowed to fast nor pray. The police actually go around before dawn raiding houses if the lights are on. The light indicates that someone is up early eating before fasting. However, this Eid, the Chinese Communist Party decided to fake the Eid. Yes, they created a fake Eid. Here is a clip broadcasted by Chinese State TV. Take a look before we break it down for you. The first thing to note is that this Chinese TV did not show any Eid prayers because prayers are not allowed. That is consistent with the Communist China's policies. Second, notice the musicians which are placed at the top of the mosque. As a matter of fact, it is against the Muslim culture to have musicians at the top of a mosque. It is also against the concept of respect among Turkic Muslims. But the Chinese producer probably has not studied Islam deep enough. Here is an earlier video of the mosque. In this six-year-old clip, you can see a welcoming plaque with a statement of faith in Islam. It was still there four years ago in this CCTV video, and there was no Chinese flag. Even in September 2017, the multicolored script scriptural plaque was there, but then the Chinese flag was added. It shows how gradually the character of a mosque was destroyed. Two years ago in 2019, however, that faith-based plaque, which adorned its main entrance, was gone. A Chinese flag is also installed at the top of the mosque. There is hardly any mosque in any Muslim nation which installs a national flag at the top of the mosque. This is simply not done. But in China, those mosques which still exist are forced to install a flag. And in some mosques, a photo of the Chinese president is installed where God's name is written on the mihrab. Kashgar is an ancient Muslim city and an icon for the Islamic civilization. The Chinese Communist Party has erased the historic Islamic identity. This Eidka mosque was in the center of a bustling heart of the Kashgar. The Chinese demolished houses to create this plaza for tourists. The BBC estimates that 16,000 mosques are demolished in East Turkestan. Thanks to tourists, this mosque still survives. A former imam of this mosque was arrested in 2017 and sentenced to 15 years in prison. The current imam at the mosque, however, denies religious oppression by the ruling Communist Party. The mosque structure dates back to 996 AD. It has a capacity for 20,000 people to pray, but Muslims are no longer allowed to pray here. Here is Aidan Anwar from US-based Save Uyghur campaign. Her family from Kashgar is missing 93 relatives. I'm an Uyghur Muslim, and right now I have 93 relatives in East Turkestan, also known as Xinjiang, who we deem as missing, meaning we've had no contact with them for the past three years. We don't know how many are in these re-education camps and whether they are alive or dead. Kashgar is almost empty nowadays. Most of its people are in the largest concentration camp since the Nazis. They cannot even practice their faith, except when the Chinese government forces them to dance. Dancing for the party and no prayers for Allah. <laughs> 